All right, I hope you're doing well. Today we're out at uh, True North, the Pinnacle course, we're playing uh, the back nine, and we're gonna do some tips for you, give you some playing uh, tips, specifically really how to approach a course you've never seen before. Never seen it. Let's go. All right, hole 10 was pretty basic, you know, just kind of lay up with a uh, fairway metal and put it on the green and two or three putt, something. It was tricky. Mike was in a fairway bunker. Uh, so it's just lack of experience or lack of knowledge knowing what the course holds in front of you. But now we're at this par five, pretty straightforward. We're gonna hit driver and uh, looks like we've got a lot of room to miss. So we're going to swing away and then see what unfolds as we go. So I've never seen this course before. I have a 210. It's into the wind, but here's the deal. Like I can see green, so that's where I want to miss. I don't know what, like I can't really go for it because I just don't know what's up there. So I'm gonna just hit the five iron and make sure I'm short on the green stuff because that's what I can see. Okay, so I pulled it a little bit, but I knew that any bad shot was probably gonna get me on grass, green stuff. Just pulled it a little left of the pin. You got this little chip up for eagle. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so we birdie the hole. Just playing smart here, going for grass, not going for, uh, you know, the hero shot. Mike went for the hero shot and paid off. He had a kick in birdie. Good um, little eagle look. I mean, you played it probably smarter than I did. I just hit five wood. I like my five wood. It was a good number. Yeah. Gave myself a 20 footer for, for eagle and uh, I missed the putt, but yeah. you know, it was- Easy uh, birdie. It, it was the right play for me at least. Yeah. So you gotta go what's comfortable for you, but uh, we're gonna go, kind. I'm gonna kind of play the safe, like, hey, I've never been here before, which I've never been here before, uh, route. Mike hasn't played here either. So we just don't know what's ahead of us. Okay, hole 12 here. It looks like it's wide open, but you know, the cart gives you some information and there's a ravine up there. I don't wanna have anything to do with that. Again, it's not a long hole, three something. So I'm just gonna lay back with the five wood and make sure I'm coming in. Cause I don't know what that green looks like or anything. I don't know what's up there. I'm uh, just going five wood fairway guy. Now Mike, he's got the driver. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm not gonna play this like a typical driver. I'm gonna choke down about an inch on the on the grip, and then I'm gonna tee the ball down lower than normal uh, into the ground. And it just seems like it reduces a lot of the spin and a lot of big misses. Mm -hmm. You're controlling the driver, you're not swinging 100%, and uh, you're just trying to hit something 245 to 260. Perfect. You know, down the middle. All right, I like it. I don't really play that shot, so I'm not playing it. Okay, found a fairway, got 145. Another little tip is, pins in the front, okay? I have 145, I got room in the back, so I wanna go a little long. I don't wanna short side myself, and missing short would be short siding myself. So I'm gonna take a little extra club and go just left of the pin, bunkers on the right. So extra safe here. The good news there is that my miss gave me the, uh, the fat part of the, the green. I got a lot of green to work with. Okay, anytime you're playing a track that you're not familiar with, first time playing, miss the green here, just to the left. The tip here is always use your putter, okay? Until you get dialed in with uh, green speeds, what the grass is doing, uh, you know, unless you're in the rough or something, but if you, if you can get a putter on it, I want you to use your putter even up to maybe 20, 30 feet off the green even. Uh, just putt it 
because it's going to give you the best chance to get the feel of the speed of the green and how the grass feels okay unless you're rough this is desert golf so putter is going to be your friend more often than not We have 176 to this par three. So anytime you're playing a course that you don't know, what I want you to do is just fire center of the green yardage. Like every time it's gonna pay off more often than not. So 76, we gotta subtract like eight yards. So I'm going uh, 68. 168 is my number. Always center yardage. So even though I didn't make par here, it's not that big a deal. You know, I was more center of the green. So I had, you know, a tough shot, but I had room to work. If I were to play the distance of the flag, I would have been down here on this uphill or downhill slope. That would have been a much more difficult shot. And I would have had maybe a 20, 30 footer for par instead of that 15 footer. But, uh, you know, you're gonna make some, some bogeys on courses when you've never seen them before. Just try to minimize the big numbers. Try to get those out of the equation. Okay, pro tip for when you're, you know, just uh, not familiar with things, on your layups, on your par fives, what you want to do, what Mike and I both did here, is we took our club, our layup club, that we're most familiar with, most comfortable with, off the fairway. For me, that's a five wood. Mike's got the three wood. Yep. Solid three wood. Hit it pure. I hit it pretty good, and my miss was good in the fairway. So, when you're laying it up to the par five, go with the one if you know that you're most comfortable with, and where you can miss and still be okay. Okay, uh, I think we're on hole 15. It's about 300 yards, maybe 325, a little downwind. Now, um, look, I don't want you to always play it safe, but I want you to know the, and run the risk of uh, going for it. We're going for it. Always do something like that. You gotta have fun when you're playing and just know like, hey, could be a double, triple, whatever, but just in your heart, you're knowing, hey, I'm gonna have some fun. I'm playing it safe. He's gonna play it safe, I but I'm going for it. Just because I like to have a little fun when I'm golfing and know, um, hey, it's okay if something bad happens. But plan for it. Don't play safe and get a triple. Go for it and get a triple. Now, I got that one. I don't know if I'm on, but I'm pretty close. But look, also, I'm not just going for it on any short hole. There's not a whole lot of trouble. There's a greenside bunker. So, uh, that's kind of the only trouble. There's a lot of big fairways. So, it's not any short hole it's you know ones where you can see where you're going okay I hit a really good drive not quite reach it I'm not 20 yards short but man I've got a great angle in so it paid off the risk has paid off so far I'm gonna take my 60 degree and uh, just punch and run that thing close hopefully so far it's paid off um, you know, it's a, it's pretty windy, so it's super downwind. I, I didn't want to lay back and give myself like 80 yards with a big downwind. It's just, the ball's gonna fly too far. And, uh, I don't have a mic, it just went off the back. So, I wanted to chip, keep it under the wind, best I could, you know. It's a risk reward so far. You know, if I can make a putt, it's worth it. Either way, it's worth it. All right, no birdie, but uh, but par. So you know, I was gonna make birdies when you go for it, but uh, give yourself a little bit of fun out there when you can. Don't always play safe. Oh. 
another tip here. Uh, every time you play at a new place, new course, uh, always talk to the guys, tip the guys. They're getting your bag, you're doing that stuff, getting a little tip and just ask them, hey, where, where do the greens pull? What, where do they pull in this town? What's the, uh, the low point? And they'll tell you. You know, if you take care of them, you're nice to them. So just a little tip, they said everything pulls to the valley, which is down this way. So now I'm going straight uphill, so I know this is gonna be a little slower putt uh, than normal, because this is gonna be the downhill pole. So always, always find out the local info when you can. Oh, what a pot. Made it. So Birdie, because of the local info we got earlier from the guys in the shop, uh, I knew to give it a little extra on that one, to be aggressive on that. So I love it, little Birdie. Gotta give him a tip though. Gotta hook him up. <laughs> 